Let me tell you the true story of a medic during the Pacific War. My story. Everything started at Pearl Harbor. It all seemed peaceful. Until... The war started that day for me and everyone in my company. And so did my new life. I saw things that day that would change everything I thought I knew about mankind. From that moment, I followed my comrades to witness the fall of the Philippines and participated in Operation Watchtower, the Battle of Guadalcanal. I was but an aspiring medic at the start of the Pacific War, but the horror of war meant it didn't matter. My brothers in arms needed me, and I had to quickly find out how to properly do my job. I wasn't ready. One of the first lessons I learned was to treat the critically wounded first. Heavy bleeding, tears, burns, and even amputated limbs were the daily things I saw. My old life was over, and every moment became a dilemma. Comrades lying on the ground with different wounds. I couldn't save everyone. I had to make dreadful choices about who should be treated first and saved. But that was only the beginning. Time was of the essence as they were bleeding out. Depending on their wounds, I learned to slowly drag them when they were bleeding a lot and to carry them on my shoulder to quickly get them to medical outposts. This was also where I got most of my supplies. I didn't always get everything, so I made do with what I had or checked other outposts. Bandages, tourniquets, gauze, those were easy to find. But boy, morphine and plasma, they were lacking. But if healing the wounded had been the only thing I had to worry about, it would have been too easy. Dangers surrounded me at every given moment. I was under fire from bullets, bombs dropping on the battlefield, or I needed to slip through enemy lines under their watchful eyes. Losing sight of any of that would have meant that my brothers in arms and I would die. That's why I became a medic.